Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be making an auto status change. Now we're going to be looking at two concepts and two ways you can do it. As you can see right here, right now, this is the old code that was displayed in, I believe, roughly anywhere from episode 1 to episode 10. I can't exactly remember the number, um, but as you can see, there is some practices that aren't necessarily the best. Now what we're going to do first of all is we're pretty much just going to strip this entire set interval and we're going to add an arrow function here passing a uh passing no parameter at all and then we're going to obviously go like this and that is how you end up like that next what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing statuses to activities because that is more factually accurate then we get inside the uh, set interval itself we're going to be doing let activity equal and then we're going to do activities i'm going to do math dot floor oh if i can spell floor right and then we're going to do math dot random and then we're going to times that by activities dot length next we're going to be going to the next line and doing what is called client user set activity the reason i'm not using set presence in this scenario is because of the fact that it will then reset the status each time and if you don't have the status itself in there then there's really no point of using set presence over set activity um just kind of basically because of the formatting of it it just looks a little bit odd so we're going to do bot dot user if i can spell user right user dot set uh not set interval set activity and then we're going to have activity as the first parameter passed and then we're going to have some options here and we're going to set the type to watching and then that is pretty much it so that is the the first one where it basically picks a random element from the array that is displayed up here and then obviously displays it on the activity which is the part underneath your bot not the online offline idle or do not disturb that is a status that is not an activity the activity is the part where it says playing watching live streaming and there is another one listening yep that's the one okay so let's completely disregard this for the moment we're going to pretty much comment out the whole code but we're gonna want this part reason being is now we're going to use this down here we're going to change the constant to a lexical definition here we're going to have activities we're going to remove the help one we're going to have that as bot.channels because bot.channels ret returns a collection and then we can also check the size of that we're going to change that to channels here we're going to add an exclamation mark so now it's going to display x amount of servers x amount of channels x amount of users and then we're going to go down um, and add a comma here. And then we're going to do i equals zero. If I can, what has just happened there? i equals zero. And then a thing at the end there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to set the interval itself. Now, this is only a one line interval. So you don't need the, uh, the curly braces here. So we're going to pass an empty parameter yet again. And then what we're going to do is bot.user.setActivity. And then we're going to have template literals added. We're going to do bot.prefix. Now we're going to add this in the um, index.js. So we'll actually just go over there right now. Index.js. Um, as you can see right here, I've already added it. So we're just going to extend the client uh, class anyways. And just do client.prefix equals prefix so and then obviously make sure you add a semicolon here because underneath we have an array and for some reason it will actually error that so we're going to hit save on that and that is now saved we're going to go back to the ready.js and then we're going to go back into the uh the back ticks there i'm going to do activity if i can get there we're going to do activities we're going to have some brackets we're going to do i plus plus i'm going to add a percentage sign and then we're going to do activities dot length and then what we're going to do is we're gonna yeah it's that one so you want to go the other side of the back tick and you want to add a comma and then we're going to add the type and we're going to have the type as watching so now that that is done we're actually going to save this and then we're going to go into discord i want to show you both so the first one i'm going to show you is going to be the top one that's going to pick a random element 
So, oh, actually, I've completely buggered that up there. What we want to do is actually add a uh, time constraint. So we'll add 15 seconds and then we'll, we'll comment that out. So then we're going to go and uncomment this. I will show you this one working. I'll, I'll show you this one working first and then we'll go into the second one. But basically, I'm going to display the Oxide Hosting advertisement first and then I will bring you guys back when I'm in Discord. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So now we are back in Discord. As you can see up here, we have over 20 users. So we'll actually go back in here real quick. We'll notice that servers and then help and then users. So we just had users, now it's help, so that's the middle one. So as you see the order's a little bit muffled up there. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to comment this code out. And we're going to uncomment this. And the first element you're going to see is servers, then channels, then users. And then it's going to go back to servers, channels, and users. So it takes a, it takes a second for it to update here. The same with the uh, status. If you end up adding a status using client user uh, dot status, uh, set status, apologies. Ah, I seem to have screwed up here. So the issue here is is bot.channels, not bot.channel. So if you guys copied that directly, then please do change that. Next, that should fix the error. That is correct. We've fixed the error. I actually want to let the bot shut down. Or is that gonna is actually gonna go in and do it? So as you see, we've got the first status. So we've got help and then one server. I'm going to speed it up in post-production so that you don't have to sit here and watch it the whole time. But just watch this section right here and it will change. And now we're just going to let it go back to your servers to show that you it show you that it's done a full loop here and um, then we'll hopefully be able to just end the video. So as you see, it's just gone back in a complete loop. So it's gone through element 0, 1, 2, and then gone back and done element 1, uh, 1, 2 again. Basically, now that is all you need. You, you don't need both. Sorry, let me rephrase that. You can't use both. You can use one or the other. Um, reason being is you can only have one status per bot. So you can either use the step-by-step -step one, which goes from 0, 1, 2, uh, and so on, and then reverts back to 0, 1, 2. Or you can use the randomized one. This is probably better for if you had like over 10 statuses so that you're not having to go through the loop each time. There is a random uh, pick of each. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. This has been Connor here from Menu Docs, and I hope you have enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.